Hi, my name is Chris Cooper, and this is a short walkthrough video of Motor Cruiser Summerwind. So, Summerwind is a 2004 Shearline 1040. Um, now, that's an unusual model based on the Sovereign 34 uh, Sundeck mouldings, which uh, which were a more common boat, but a much earlier incarnation. So, the Sovereigns were built into the uh, the late 90s, but um, but this particular boat has got a very modern feel about it, and it's in really quite exceptional condition. So for those who aren't really familiar with the Sovereigns, uh, they have really easy boarding access. There's a bathing platform which runs across sort of three quarters of the stern width of the boat and, uh, and, and rails that run all the way round the boat and a couple of little steps look from the bathing platform up onto the, onto the deck area. And as you wander around to the port side, you follow the railings around, you have a side door which opens into the saloon. So this particular boat has got um, integral um, rail steps which uh, lift up and slot into the into the uh, railings as part of the part of the railing structure. But but it makes a very very easy access into that side door arrangement. And it is a lovely arrangement anyway. Actually, really wide decks. There's handrails in um, just about every position really as you walk around it making it a very very safe boat to to operate good for animals good for children and this particular boat is in really lovely condition she's been polished and anti-fouled fairly recently in july of this year this year and she's got a really thorough service log all the way through her current ownership which sort of stretches back some years. Gel coat is in really nice condition. There's no obvious scrapes and dings. Really good deep shine all the way around the boat. It really is one of the nicest boats that we've had um, through the doors of late. And a very popular and desirable model. Sovereign 34s have been selling very well over the last few seasons. It's been quite hard to get hold of them and, uh, and when, when they have come up for sale, they've sold almost instantly. So, without further ado, let's get you aboard. Just before I do pop you aboard, I thought I'd just hop on the boat next door and just give you a little view of the starboard side of the boat because uh, there are some really nice features actually and some nice things about this that, uh, that I thought I really ought to point out. Uh, look at all the fenders and how they've been set at a nice uniform height look <laughs> and, uh, and they're all really clean and smart. But there's lines on, on each of the cleats, on hangers even on the mid cleat look and that uh, drop down ladder look this is uh, this is the ladder in the lock position on the uh, starboard side of the boat I mean, quite if you can see the blinds through the tinted windows there but all just just creates a really modern smart appearance which is really what a lot of the sovereign owners have sort of tried to emulate over the last few years because they are very they're very pretty looking boats i think actually out on the river and um and all the sovereign although the sovereigns are obviously an older boat they're uh, they tend to be owned by uh, by those that um, that look after them and uh, and update them and, uh, and this i think is the look that uh, that most of the owners have been trying to try and replicate really with their their sort of updates and modifications so we're just looking at the uh, track vision dome there on the foredeck. That's uh, that's a satellite tracking TV system, so uh, that'll give you really good um, TV reception, regardless of where you are through the throughout the Broads network, really, or Thames or anywhere else. And you can see the uh, butterfly hatch on the top of the boat there. It gives a load of light into the saloon, and you can also see the handrails. The security that the uh, that the full rails all the way around the outside of the boat provide. 
So I'll just pause the video here and um, and hop round to the other side, and we'll take you on board through the uh, the side saloon door. Here we are in the saloon of Summer Wind. Very comfortable space. This you know, immediately notice the quality of the timber work in here. It's um, this is a satin cherry finish. It's a It's a very plush interior, actually. A gray leather upholstery all the way through. That continues in the dinette. I'm gonna step down into the, into the galley and just give you a better shot of that. So that dinette converts into a double berth as does the saloon sofa actually, and also converts into a double. Here's our galley. Black composite worktops. Give the boat a really high quality feel. Double oven and grill. Four burner hob there. Big fridge, decent workspace, and double sink. And we're into the forward cabin. Nice, bright, light, airy space. And again, really lovely timber work. Forward toilet compartment. This is a shower as well. Tech Mara electric toilet in there. Mara shower fitting. And again, composite work surface in the back there. Just adds a touch of glass. So stepping back up into the saloon. And it's the um, sofa. Uh, sofa saloon sofa here on the starboard side of the boat that pulls out and makes a double berth and then tucked underneath there cunningly we've got a high low coffee table steps removable steps actually up into the uh, into the uh, half copper area and the, just to point out some attention to detail look the owners have had uh, a little canvas cover made to cover the upholstery so that it uh, keeps the uh, seating nice and clean. Little stool underneath there that's upholstered in the same leather material. And of course the flat screen uh, bit onto the wall of the aft. Of the saloon. So stepping down into the half cabin, I would imagine this is going to be your master suite. Big berth, and it is a really big berth actually. I should think that's a good five foot, if not, if not a larger king size berth actually. Not a reasonable amount of floor area here. The vanity unit there, quite a lot of bright lighting in here. Large double wardrobe. And we've got the master ensuite. Jabs go toilet in there and uh, again Myra shower fitting and composite work surface and a big shower cubicle. Doing the timber works lovely. So there we have it, a 
very, very nice Shearline 1040. If you'd like some more information, then please just give us a call or head over to our website, which is www.mya.co.uk. Thanks for watching.